What's going on, YouTube? Uh, I catch me at a bad time. I'm taking a shit. Nah, I'm kidding. I ain't taking a shit. Um, I'm actually here in like a, a bathroom. The reason why is because the lighting is so much better than my room. This isn't my bathroom. This is like a bathroom that's like inside of a piano room in my apartment, like in the apartment complex. It's actually really nice. I don't even think anybody uses this bathroom. Check it out. Look at this right here. This restroom is for women only. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Women don't use this. So if women don't use it, I'll use it for my pickups. But, yeah, man, I got some sweet snapbacks I'm going to show you. And some retro games and some shit that I copped. But, um, I really wasn't going to do this. Um, just did. But since I haven't done the video in three weeks, and I know some people, they kind of want me to do a vid. I was actually going to save this until I get home in two weeks. But, um, before I get into the pickups, uh, I'll explain some updates after I show you all my stuff. All the pickups. But before I get into the pickups... Um, you know, I just want to thank everybody for the survey that y'all did for me, uh, the sneaker survey. I haven't really finished, uh, putting it together because I, I don't have to present it until Friday. So if you guys want to see the results of that, I'll show you. But, um, the other thing is, there's actually another survey. Um, you don't, ha you guys don't have to do it. This is more like for extra credit for me. Um, I would appreciate if you guys did it. Basically, it's, it's a more, um, professional one. I didn't make it. Um, it's, it's basically about cars, but this one, there's actually an incentive to it. Um, if you do the survey, they, they actually, it's kind of like, uh, there's a raffle or you get drawn into, uh, um, being able to get like a $25 Visa gift card. I don't know. I guess you can use that anywhere. Um, I think the, the survey would probably take like five minutes. Um, the only thing is the only people that can take this survey are people from 18 to 29 years old, and they only want Latino, Hispanics, Asian people, and African Americans. So I'm gonna leave the link down below if you guys wanna do that to help me out for extra credit. Um, I understand if you don't want to. Um, it's the last time I will ever ask you guys to do a survey, but if you you know, fall into the category of 18 to 29 years old, and you're either Latino, Asian, or African American, then it would be really be appreciated if you did the survey. Um, they, it's kind of hard for whoever's doing the survey, it's kind of hard for them to find African Americans. So if you guys are African American, then they really want to know what you guys, like, think about in the survey. So you guys are like the golden ticket, man. You guys are like the ones they really want, you know. So, um, but if you're not African American, don't let that stop you from taking it. But anyway, I'll leave that link down below. And if you would do that, that help me out with extra credit. I really appreciate that. But... Let me get into the, the pickups. You guys want to see this, alright? So I'm going to start off with some games, retro games, alright? Okay, retro games. I went to the thrift. Um, I'll show you the Game Boy games first. I found these for 50 cents each. Marble Madness. Throw this little sucker down there. Um, Paperboy 2. You see 50 cents right there. And this one was a cool one. Mega Man 3 for the Game Boy. 50 cents. That was cool to find. They also had Tetris, but I already have Tetris, so I didn't buy that. Then I found Asteroids Hyper 64 for a buck. I did not have this, so I was like, okay, I'll buy that. Add it to the collection. And then I bought Banjo Kazooie for a dollar. I already own Banjo Kazooie, but I. Pretty much bought this for uh, trading purposes. If anybody wants to trade, if not, I'll, I'll probably just sell it on the eBay. So yeah, I'll pretty much trade anything for this dude because I already own this. I really don't want this. I figured if I found it for a dollar, maybe somebody out there on YouTube would want it. So let me know what you guys have for trade, and I'll see what's up. And then I went to another thrift and I found two NES games. First one is 1943. It says two bucks, but when I went to the register, she rung it up as a dollar. So I got these two games for a dollar each. So I already own 1942. And you know, it's a Capcom title. I love Capcom. It's a shmup. It's a pretty good one, too. Uh, next one Alpha Mission. It's another shmup. Pretty good one, too. SNK, man. SNK is a shit. So 
Yeah. All right, and then I found one Dreamcast game, which I was actually psyched to find, dude. It was how to, who wants to beat up a millionaire? I got this one for a dollar. Rarely ever find Dreamcast games, so yeah, cop that. That was really cool find because I do not own this one, so add to my Dreamcast collection. I haven't bought any Dreamcast games in a long time. And the last game I got was uh, Sin and Punishment for the Wii. This game is freaking awesome. I've always wanted this game ever since it came out. It's usually a game that you know the Wii doesn't usually have in this genre. Um, it's like a, it's kind of like a rail shooter where you actually control your uh, your player. But um, I went to Kmart and I f saw this for like fourteen ninety nine, brand new. And I was like, "Fuck this, dude! I'm gonna buy it." It was like it was on a Friday night. I went to Kmart and I was bored as hell. I was like, "You know what? I want something to play tonight." So I bought this. I haven't beaten it. My my roommate beat it on easy. I don't play games on easy. I think that's stupid. I actually, I only play either on normal or hard. So I've been playing it on normal. I haven't beaten it yet. I'm almost done with it, but I've just lost, kind of lost interest in it since I, since I saw my roommate beat it. But this game is really cool, man. I recommend this game a lot. It's really cheap, um, and it's actually you know one of those different Wii games that you, you know you don't typically see. So, yeah, man, Sin and Punishment is the shit. The only problem I have with this game is there's so many bosses. There's like more bosses and levels, like. This game should be called Boss and Punishment because I swear that's what the bosses do to you. They punish your ass. Alright, those were the games. Now for six snaps, dude. I don't even know how many I have. I'll count them later. First one I found for a buck was uh, Classically Trained with the Nintendo Controller 1985. My birth year. So I definitely had to... I wasn't going to buy this because this is like one of those preppy hats that they like purposefully like mess up at the brim you know but it actually is a snap and it has nintendo and it's pretty fresh nintendo inside and i got it for a dollar so yeah um so funny story over the thanksgiving break i went to utah because my one of my friends lives up there and i wasn't going to go home because um plane tickets are too expensive but I went to Utah, and I went, and since we had nothing to do over there, we were just like, let's just go to some thrift stores. And it turns out, I know a lot of you guys know Professor Snap. I actually went to Professor Snap's thrift stores. I didn't know those were the thrift stores he goes to. So I didn't mean to, like, raid on his territory, you know. But he actually showed some of these things on his videos that he didn't buy, but I bought anyways. First one was this one I found. It's actually a youth hat. I wasn't going to buy it. I knew it was a youth hat. But then when I looked at it and I tried it on, it actually fits, dude. Like, it actually look, doesn't look bad. I have to wear it on a two snap, which is okay. But it, it actually looks really good. It looks like an adult hat, too. Like, there's nothing youth about this unless your kid got a big-ass head, you know. So I bought this from that one thrift. It's a youth. It's a little dirty. It's all right. I might keep it. I mean, I don't know. It does fit, so whatever. Then I went to another thrift and I found these two Jordan five panel hats. This is actually pretty cool. It has 23 inch stitch side. Um, this one's an all black one. And this one's like a dark pine green. This one actually fits perfect. The black one I think is kind of small. Um, I was gonna keep these, but then it was like, you know what? I'll just put them on eBay. So right now I have them on eBay. Um, I got them for a dollar each. And they're pretty, they're actually brand new. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave my eBay link down below in the description box. You guys can, you know, look at that. Help me out if you can. So I've got those two five panel hats. And then I found uh, this polo strap, strap hat. Pretty cool. Yeah, not really all that. <laughs> All right, time for this uh, snapback. So, once again, Professor Snap, he showed us in one of his videos. I guess he didn't pick it up because he said, like, he had a lot of red hats and he really didn't need this one. But I think I went the next day after him and I saw this there. And I was like, holy shit, this hat is fucking sick, dude. All right, it's like a wool hat. It's a green underbrim. And it fits perfect. And it's clean. It's Calvin Klein, like... This hat is nice. Like, it's really, really nice. Like, quality is sick. So, I copped that. 
Um, I kind of felt bad because I didn't know he was actually going to go purchase it the next day, but whatever. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to take your shit. <laughs> all right, then I found these hats, all right? First one, okay, these, these next two I'm going to show you are terrible. I found a Dallas Cowboys hat. Um, I found this for a dollar. It's a logo athletic. It's pretty clean, green underbrim. Um, pretty detailed hat, um, you know, pro line, authentic. Um, the only problem is I fucking hate the Cowboys. I, uh, I'm from D.C., so I'm more of a Redskins fan. You know, there's a rivalry between them, so. Yeah, I found this for a buck. I was I actually bought this, so maybe I could sell it. I don't know. I don't know if I'll sell it yet, but depends on how what people offer me for this. And then I went to the same thrift the next day. And found this. I was like so blow, dude. Copped it for a buck. It's actually brand new. Um, seems like nobody really wore it. Uh, Proline Authentic. It's actually a sports specialty. It's this vintage. I've actually seen this exact hat go for like 60 bucks. But that's buy it now. Nobody usually buys that shit now for 60 bucks. But, you know, well stitched. Dallas Cowboys and... I was so happy when I found it. I mean, when I found it, I knew I, I saw the green underbrim inside of it. I was like, "Oh shit, another snap!" And then when I looked, it was a cowboy. I was like, "Man, fuck, fucking cowboys!" I was like, "Whatever." <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. I just throw these on the floor. So to counteract those two gainous hats, I had to buy these hats online. <laughs> so the first one I got was a uh, Redskins. Starter snap. This was like brand new, dude. Green underbrim. Check it. Tri power. Yeah, I actually, uh, there's a hat that my collection 7000 traded me. It was Orlando Magic, and it's the exact same style. So, yeah. This is a really sweet hat. This is like nice stitching right here. Starter, you know, I love starter. It's probably my favorite hat brand. So, you know. Had to buy that to counteract that. And I also bought this one to counteract those two cowboy hats. Washington Wizards. <laughs> Sports specialties. Green underbrim. This one was a little bit used. I got this for six bucks. It's a little expensive. Well, not really if you go online. But I did not own a Wizards hat. So Wizards is my team. Even though they're, they're dookie. They're trash, dude. The team is garbage. But whatever. Copped it. All right. These hats are sick, so I went online. I was tired of just finding shitty hats at the thrift. Shitty teams, actually, so I bought teams that I liked online. So I got a Los Angeles Kings. I don't think this one's vintage. Like, the tag says vintage hockey, but this is probably a reproduction, which I don't mind, but it still looks vintage and it fits perfect, so I copped that one. And then I copped... Uh the white and red Chicago Bulls. This one's Adidas. I already I own an Adidas Chicago Bulls hat, but it's uh, white with a black brim. So I already know how they fit. They fit perfect, which I don't mind. I don't mind if they're not vintage as long as they fit good and they look good. <clears throat> um, yeah, so uh, the only Chicago Bulls hat I really want now is just the one with like red and the black brim. Because I already own a black with a red and a white with a black brim, so... The white and red one was a must. Had to cop this one. Then I found this one for real cheap. This is an Oakland Raiders sports specialties pro line. Has like the whole Raiders uh, logo on the side. I have a Denver Nuggets hat that's exactly like this. Same style sports specialties. All these are green underbrim, which is actually pretty cool. So this one's pretty sick. Fuck with that one. And this one is my favorite one, dude. I got this for real cheap online, man. I had to buy it. I saw this. I had to buy this. This is Chicago Bears Sports Specialty Scripted Hat. Thing was fresh, man. Green underbrim. Yo. Pinstripe. Oh, my gosh. When I first got this, you guys got to see this in person. This hat is real nice in person. Like, the orange just pops, dude. It's so bright. It's, like, legit, man. I'm not joking. I got this for, like, 20 bucks. I knew I wasn't going to find this at the thrift. And I'm tired of finding, like, shitty teams at the thrift. So I was like, man, fuck this. I'm going to go and online and buy this. So I actually paid 20 It's a lot more than what I usually pay. But, hey, you know, <clears throat> thrift uh, <clears throat> snapbacks at, the at, at like, retail stores go for, like, 25 And they're shitty hats. But this one's 20 
This one's vintage, and this one's thick, so scripted, man. Yeah, man, this is one of my top five, top ten, top ten now. I don't know. I don't know where it would fit, but it's in there. This hat's so sick. All right. Then I caught two little crew necks. Uh, you know me. I'm not into crew necks like that, but I, I just like plain ones. Um, I went to Walmart, and Walmart has crew necks in every color and assortment, so I bought this for 7 bucks. I did not have a dark gray one. And when I went to Utah, as I was saying earlier, I went to Professor Snap's uh, thrifts. <laughs> but uh, I'm surprised he didn't buy this one. I don't know if he saw it, or maybe he wasn't there the day that he went, because I actually went the day after him, but I found this. It's actually uh, Joe Montana. Kansas City Chiefs vintage uh, crew neck. Uh, I wasn't going to buy this mainly because I don't remember Joe Montana as a Kansas City Chiefs. I, I remember him more of a, of a 49ers player. Um, but he did play in Kansas City for two years, 93 and 94. So this is definitely vintage. This is probably harder to find because he only played in this team for two years and he played in San Francisco for 14. But you know, I was like, you know what, fuck this. The reason why I like, the reason why I cop this one, I'm not in, I'm not into crew necks like that. You know, just teams and everything. But the reason why I bought this is because I love the animated players. Like when I was a kid, these were popular. Like I really like it when they're like drawn all funny. You know, they look like a character and stuff. I love that. So that's why I bought it. I didn't have a Kansas City Chiefs had to go with it, so I bought that. I think it was like five bucks, so I'm keeping that. And the last thing, oh, I found this. It's a Ninja Turtles pizza power game. It's a board game. I'm not going to open it. I actually have rubber bands, so then it doesn't open up. But this is from 1987. But this is what it looks like. It looks like that. So, yeah. Cop that. So now, you know, I have an X-Men and a G.I. Joe one back at home. So now Ninja Turtles completed it, dude. It's my favorite favorite cartoon, favorite everything. But cop that. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's my pickups. Wanted to show you that. And, oh, yeah, the main reason why I wanted to make this. Um, so updates. Uh, all right. Um, I'm, I'm going to be going home in two weeks. So I'm not going to make a video. I'm, I'm, I actually have, I bought three pairs of kicks. And they're all at home, so when I get home, I'm gonna do a pickup of, of some sweet kicks. Heat, dude! I'm telling you, these these kicks are sh are the shit. These are heat. You know what I'm saying? These are kicks that have not been retro. All right. So I'm gonna show you that when I get home. I'm gonna do a lot of pickups, or I'm gonna keep doing all these videos when I get home in two weeks, right? But here's the thing: I get home in two weeks. I'll, I'll only be home for a month. So during that month, I'll make videos or whatever, right? But after the month, like in the middle of January, I'm flying to where my sister lives in Montana to do an internship. And there's nothing there. So um, I'm going to be there for three months doing an internship. Now, when I'm there, you know, I'm not going to be able to do any vids because, uh, well, there's no places there. There's not really anything to do. I don't, I'm not going to have any of my things to show you guys. I'm not going to pick up anything. So my plan is when I'm at home for that one month from December to the middle of January, I'm going to record, like, a whole bunch of videos, like, uh, shoes I would never wear, um, you know, video game related stuff, more sneaker reviews, pickups, everything. I'm going to record all that, and I'm not going to upload them. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to record, like, at least maybe, like, 15 videos, and then, during those three months that I'm in Montana with my sister, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload one of those videos, like, once a week, so that, you know, I, so that I can... You know, I don't know, what do you, what do you say, like, basically, so I can stay relevant on YouTube. Because, I mean, if I don't make a video in three months, you know, that's, that's retarded. So, I'm going to try to, like, I'm going to upload all these videos when I'm at home. And then I'm going to just upload them once a week. Maybe, like, on a Wednesday or something for those three months that I'm gone. Maybe even two videos a week for the three months that I'm gone. So that, you know, I'll, I'll be, you know, you guys can watch and stuff, so... You know, you won't see me, like, not make videos. But, yeah, that's the update. So, once again, guys, uh, if you can, do the survey down below. I have my eBay link down below. I just want to tell you those updates, and I will see you guys in two weeks. All right? All right, guys. Peace.